Over the years, there have been reports of large human-like giants known as yetis. These creatures are usually encountered in snowy regions, and have been compared to the American Bigfoot. The evidence for such a monster living in the isolated frozen mountains in permafrost has more than piled up over the years. However, so far concrete evidence has been hard to come by. The best thing we have so far is footprints, and an alleged skull. Found in a Buddhist monastery in Nepal is what some claim to be the hand of a yeti. While this hand has had its fair share of criticism, others believe that it could be real. Over the years, locals in the region have said these creatures do exist, but they don't seek out humans and are only seen once in a while. They live deep in the region surrounding Nepal, and are often identified by the large footprints they leave behind. Peter Byrne was one of the first people to find out the monks of the monastery had these incredible artifacts. Going back in 1953, a group of Indian mountaineers viewed the Yeti scalp and tried to carry out tears. However, the locals don't like for people to remove the object, and are very picky about who they let touch it. One story goes that the locals did in fact let the artifacts be taken from the monastery, and allowed for tests to be carried out. However, another story says the items were stolen and sold off in a private market. After the results came back, it was identified to be a tub of hominin having a slight match to Neanderthals. What's interesting about this though is that other tests showed it definitely wasn't human. To this day the artifacts remain a mystery, with scientists saying the test can't be carried out due to the items going missing. Some believe that the creatures being witnessed in the area is in fact that of Yeti, while others suggest that Himalayan wildlife is being misidentified. For example, the Tibetan blue bear and the Himalayan brown bear could explain some of the sightings, Interestingly, Yeti sightings are nothing new. People have been encountering large humanoids in the wilderness for hundreds of years. Some have even suggested that Gigantopithecus or some other great ape seems like a more plausible explanation for the Yeti, further saying that these giant apes may not have died out, and that a small population of them may still exist. However, scientists say this is very unlikely. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.